We love the holidays as much as the next person, yes. but let's face it. They can also be a huge pain in the rear end. <laughs> yeah, so between family drama, you know, too tight waistbands, like that uncomfortable feeling, and just an ungodly amount of time spent in transit, holidays can be stressful. Yeah, that the amazing apple pie that my mom always makes is is it's worthwhile in the end, but still, why suffer when we can hack the holidays and actually come out ahead this year? So today we're gonna be sharing nine awesome hacks for stress travel and diet to help you stay sane this holiday season and next week i'm going to be sharing hacks for gift giving and saving money so there's just so much that we can share about holiday hacking so let's dive right in and save this video because you're going to want to rewatch it totally Hey guys, we're Demir and Carrie from Lifehack Bootcamp, and we're actually making this video for you in beautiful Medellin, Colombia right now. I always do this like snap when I say Colombia. 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 So the best way to keep your sanity in the holidays is just to keep the stress levels down. Yes. So let's start with that. Three stress hacks. Stress hack number one is to use pre-planning to reduce your stress around, well basically your stress around anything, any and all logistics. Totally. Holidays are a logistical nightmare, guys. You're coordinating with the family. You're fretting over which gifts to buy. And then on critical days like Thanksgiving and Christmas, you're going crazy trying to figure out which dish needs to be in the oven by which time. And oh crap, look, the turkey over here is still not even thawed yet. We can tell you how to use a paper towel tube to make basting your turkey easier, but these sort of hacks don't actually improve your life that much. What we actually want to show you is a real life hack. Yeah, so pre-planning is a hack for getting ahead of those logistics, and it's a hack that's going to dramatically improve your life. So what is pre-planning? Pre-planning is just our term for planning ahead, predicting what could go wrong, allocating your time, and making decisions ahead of time that are just going to make your life a whole hell of a lot easier. So to start off, ask yourself, how can I prepare in advance for big, important days like Christmas and Thanksgiving? Yeah, absolutely. Is there food I can prep in advance? Can I buy it pre-prepared? Are there gifts I can buy in advance? Are there any other decisions I can make in advance that'll either keep things from blowing up on me or just make it easier? And how can I optimize my calendar to give me more flexibility and downtime, especially on travel days? How can I react with uh, grace and affability when family members upset me? Right? Even, even down to planning, like should this family member be staying with me at the house or maybe staying in a hotel no, nearby? So also, what am I going to do if something goes wrong? Yeah. If my flight gets delayed or something else blows up at work last minute? There's no month better than November and December to do a monthly pre-planning. Look at your calendar, optimize your calendar, ask yourself what could go wrong here and how can I get ahead of that? All right, our second stress hack is around how to show up with your family. And this is a really big hack because it's about how to truly make your time together count instead of just kind of like getting through it like we tend to do. Yeah, don't just be with your family, show up for your family. Challenge yourself to go deeper, not wider. Challenge yourself to make true lifelong memories by thinking about who needs me? Yeah. What do they need from me? How do I need to show up for this person? And then deliver on that. Yeah, just think about it. Who needs a listening, considerate ear from you? Who would love to maybe bake a pumpkin pie with you? Who would love to be included who normally gets overlooked by the rest of the family? Yeah, so we challenge you right now. Think about three family members you really want to show up for this holiday season and really go all in on that. It's not about money. It's about focus and time. I promise you, this one hack has the power to make or break your holidays. Yeah. Because if you get it right, it won't matter if anything else goes wrong. Yeah, we have a whole video on how to go extreme that really elaborates more on this. It's called Our Hack for Work-Life Balance. So check that out in the links below. Okay, stress hack number three. We all know that our buttons are gonna get pushed over the holidays. Absolutely, for sure. So our family and our close friends, man, they really know how to do this in their sleep, don't they? They really get in there. So how can we keep our days from getting derailed by these insensitive comments yep. and you know, loud political debates and shouting matches. Especially this year with the politics. So while I'd love to share a hack for how to instantly change your family to be sweet and angelic, unfortunately we don't have a hack. If you have it, please contact us, <laughs> right? So instead, let's focus on changing ourselves. 
Yeah, because the only thing that's gonna make these sorts of tips with our family less stressful is to change how you react to them. Yeah, this is a perfect chance if you wanna see it like that, to up-level your mental game yeah. so that you're more resilient, you're more considerate, and just more mature in how you react. And the most expedient way to do this is to make a list of what buttons of yours are likely gonna get pushed this holiday season, yeah. right? I know you know what they are. And meditate on those. Really let those feelings come up for you and think about how you typically respond. Is it effective or does it just add fuel to the fire? Now think about what you contributed to this problem over the years. How can you take full ownership of it? And remember, you can never change the other person, but you can respond differently. Yeah, you can respond with more love, with more consideration. Just write down how you're gonna be the bigger person this time and what your new reaction is gonna be when your buttons start to get pushed. So this becomes your reaction plan. And it's so simple, just write it down three times. It just says, when this happens, I will blank. So when my aunt gets controlling in the kitchen and it starts to annoy me, I will go out into the garage and help my dad split wood. All right, those are three hacks for reducing stress. Now let's talk about three travel hacks because sort of travel is stressful, right? <laughs> There's definitely a right way to travel and a wrong way. And after visiting 18 countries in the last two years, we've definitely seen our share of planes and trains and cars and ferries and taxis. So here are three hacks that are gonna help make travel a little bit easier and a lot less stressful. So travel hack number one. The first hack is to get TSA pre-check status. This is one of the golden nuggets of travel, which is a tip that's not just gonna help you this holiday season, but actually for the rest of your traveling life. Yeah, absolutely. Guys, there's still time to apply for it and you just pay $85, you get your fingerprints taken once and you never have to stand in a security line at an airport for like the next five years. This is sort of the cheapest way to buy first class treatment that you can get these days. So you wanna take advantage of it. Yeah, so say goodbye to the stress of wondering if you're gonna catch your flight on time and then the boredom of waiting around with nothing to do for hours in that line. So is it worth it for you to get TSA pre-check? You can figure out if it's worth it for you right now. Just calculate how much you make per hour after taxes. Okay, got that number? Great. So now assume you're gonna be spending two hours in the security line per flight. And if you make $20 an hour, this investment is basically gonna save itself after just two round trip flights. All right, so how do you do it? So either you or your VA should scope out the necessary documentation and the process. And I'm gonna post a link below so you can get started. Then go ahead and just send in your application immediately. Yes. Because the process can take up to six weeks to complete and it includes an in-person appointment at your airport. So you need to start now in order to assure that you avoid the lines this holiday season. Yeah. So start that by checking out the link below. Okay, travel hack number two. Take some measures so you don't get sick while you're traveling. Yeah, this is just a really smart travel practice, but I am shocked at how few people follow it. Shocking. I mean, we're at airports and public areas all the time. People are coughing and sneezing and just generally being unhygienic. And I can't help think these are the people who are spreading the flu every single year. Absolutely. Guys, it's time to upgrade your anti-sickness technologies and techniques. So here's what to do. Before you travel, drink water with a lot of emergency in it or some other vitamin C powder every day starting a couple days before you leave. The best cure, guys, is prevention. So vitamin C really boosts your immune system. Yeah. Another thing you can do is just start using massive amounts of hand sanitizer, especially on travel days, to prevent the spread of germs. Yeah. When you travel, especially in airplanes, the altitude and the pressure actually compromises your immune system. Prove it. Yeah, so your body needs even more health than usual to stay healthy in those times. Yeah, here's the other thing. Just take the hit and get one of those silly face masks that keep the germs out. I notice when I wear one, I'm always touching my face like a thousand more times than I even noticed I was. Totally. And also just never eat airplane food except for water. It is rarely healthy and it's usually full of sodium and fat that just makes you feel bloated and sluggish for days. So just pack your own snacks or try to get something healthy at the airport. There's plenty of good food when you land. Don't worry, you can have a little snack bar. You're gonna be fine. Travel hack number three, and this relates to one of our first hacks, pre-plan your travel logistics too. Yes, pre-planning again, it is that important guys. Yes. Pre-plan the logistics in advance for any and all travel scenarios. So make packing checklists, game out the travel day, play by play in advance, and try to predict what could go wrong before it actually does. Yeah, absolutely. So that's the travel hacks. And now the final section is diet and exercise hacks. Yeah, because we all know what's coming for us. 
We got cookies, we got pies, <laughs> we got cakes, we got delicious fattening dishes, and we got lots and lots of butter. Yeah, so let's talk about some hacks for starting the new year even healthier and potentially even slimmer than when you yeah. started. All right, hack number one, start fasting intermittently. Absolutely. Now, this is the first diet hack, and if you do it, it's gonna help you hack that terrible 10 pounds that you usually put on over the holidays. Yeah. So this is called intermittent fasting, and intermittent fasting is one of the simplest strategies that we have for maintaining and even losing weight yes. because it requires very little behavioral change. It's easy to do. Guys, intermittent fasting is great because it's simple enough that you'll actually do it, right. and it's meaningful enough that it really makes a difference. Totally. So what is it? So intermittent fasting is where you choose an eight hour window where you can eat two big meals during the day. Yeah. So for example, between 1 p.m. and 8 p.m. Yeah, and then you're fasting, or basically not eating, for the other 16 hours of the day. And, and remember, most of the time you're going to be asleep anyways. Yeah, and the reason why it works so well is because it enables your body to get into fat burning mode for a longer period. And the longer you have that unbroken time of no eating, the better it works. And of course, the other reason it works well is you're eating one less meal a day. Now we're gonna to link to an article below by one of our favorite bloggers, James Clear, who he really goes into the details about the science behind this hack. Yeah, but this quote from Dr. Michael Eads, who has tried intermittent fasting and studied it himself, hits the nail on the head for why fasting is actually easier than dieting. Yeah, he says diets are easy in contemplation, they're difficult in execution. Intermittent fasting is just the opposite. It's difficult in contemplation, but easy in execution. Nice. So intermittent fasting over the holidays is perfect because you can still have all the goodies and the treats, but you're going to come out of the holidays feeling fantastic instead of overly stuffed. Yes, absolutely. And there's a variety of ways to do intermittent fasting and you're going to want to consider your health considerations. So check the resources below. If you need to, or you're pregnant or you're sick, talk to your doctor first, but find out what's right for you. All right. Our second diet hack is to drink twice as much water as you normally do and start drinking lemon water in the morning. Absolutely. Guys, this is so, 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 so effective. It seems like it's not, but I'm telling you it is. Staying hydrated is an amazing way to keep off weight because frankly, you're just full. You're full longer, you have more energy. And a lot of people who feel weak or tired when you have a headache, when you think you need to eat, a lot of times all you need to do is just drink. Yeah. In fact, these are all symptoms of dehydration. And if you don't drink the 10 cups of water a day recommended by the Institute of Medicine, then you might even be among the huge percentage of Americans suffering from chronic dehydration. And it's perfect for the holidays because it's easy to do. Just grab that water bottle, grab a lemon, make it your goal to have a cup of water every hour during the holidays. Now for me personally, TMI, when I drink that much water, I end up peeing a lot. And so what you want to do is you want to dump one of those electrolyte packets in that help your body metabolize it so it doesn't go straight through you. All right, this third hack here is an exercise hack. I and mean, we absolutely love this hack. Yes. And the hack is to walk 60 to 90 minutes per day. Which ends up being, if you have a pedometer, about like 7,000 to 10,000 steps. Walking is such a hack because it's easy. You can do it with friends and relatives and really have those deep conversations. You can listen to a podcast, time flies by and you don't get sweaty. This kind of low intensity steady state exercise is perfect for combating that extra piece of pie you want to have. Yeah. Because what it does is it keeps your metabolism up. You don't just lose weight while walking, you also get your metabolism revved up so you don't get hit as hard by what you eat. Absolutely, and you're less hungry. Guys, the worst thing you can do is starve yourself because then your metabolism is low. Yeah. So walking actually increases your metabolism and reduces your appetite. It works both ways. We actually love walking together because it gives us that time to connect away from technology. And we often solve business problems or just talk about something that's interesting to us at the time. And so you can do the same with your family. Yeah, so it works best when you work it into your day as a habit so you can really get the benefits that start to accumulate. And remember we talked about the stress? That walk can be time to get away from your family, get away from the stress. Totally. Okay, so hopefully these holiday hacks have inspired you to make this holiday season the least stressful one ever. And next week, we're going to be back with hacks for gifting and saving money over the holidays. Okay, listen, we know we're not the only one with hacks. So guys, comment below with your holiday hacks. We want to hear how you thought about these ones and what you have. And we love hearing from you guys. All right, see you guys next week.